Treatment of emphysema. Just to recap what emphysema is, emphysema is a type of lung disease that causes shortness of breath. In a person with emphysema, the alveoli are damaged. The alveoli walls, the elastic fibers are damaged and lost. So to look at it in a simple diagram, here are normal alveoli. It is not damaged. It still contains the alveoli walls. Alveoli with emphysema, on the other hand, are damaged. The walls are damaged. The elastic fibers are lost. And this makes breathing difficult and uncomfortable. Now, emphysema is usually not a disease by itself. Many people with emphysema also have chronic bronchitis. A combination of the two lung diseases is commonly called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Lung damage from emphysema and COPD is irreversible. The quality of life for a person suffering diminishes as the disease progresses, which is quite sad. The most important step in preventing emphysema and COPD and slowing down its progression is to quit smoking because smoking is the main cause of emphysema. And another important preventative measure is to also not inhale substances that may harm the lungs, for example, air pollution or certain fumes. There are, of course, pharmacological treatments available out there that aims um, in reducing the symptoms associated with emphysema, as well as to prevent exacerbations. One of the main drugs used are bronchodilators, the beta-2 agonists. These medications widen the airways, allowing the person to breathe better, easier. Because, for example, if we take a cross-section of the bronchial of this individual with emphysema, the airways are narrow because the smooth muscles are contracting. There may be also a lot of mucus being produced here. And so if we administer a beta-2 agonist inhaler, which is a bronchodilator, this will relax the airways, relax the bronchosmooth muscles, which will allow the person to breathe easier. Bronchodilators will reduce symptoms and improve lung function. Glucocorticoid inhalers can also be given to a person with emphysema, and this is to treat the exacerbation periods. These are painful periods when the symptoms are more severe, more prominent. And so administration of gluc glucocorticoids, um, which is an anti-inflammatory drug, will decrease the pain caused by inflammation, which is associated with emphysema. So for example, here we have an inflamed lung. And if, we, and if the person takes glucocorticoids, the inflammation will subside the number of exacerbation episodes um, will be reduced. Oxygen therapy is an important treatment for people with emphysema if they exhibit hypoxemia. Hypoxemia is when you have low oxygen levels in the blood. And so um, if an individual has hypoxemia, they require oxygen therapy daily, about 15 hours or more per day. Oxygen therapy can improve survival rates. Vaccines are advised to prevent respiratory infections. Respiratory infections such as pneumonia can exacerbate the symptoms of emphysema. Also, because emphysema is a result of a chaotic immune response in the lungs, it is necessary that people with emphysema get regular vaccinations. If a person does contract an infection and is suffering from chronic bronchitis, for example, antibiotics are used to clear up and manage the infection. Lung volume reduction surgery is used in severe cases, typically in COPD. This is where a non-functioning part of the lung is removed. So for example, this non-functioning part of the upper lobule. 
Removing this non-functioning part of the lung will allow the other parts of the lungs to function better, despite being also damaged. Lung transplantation can and may be performed in end-stage COPD, when lungs are damaged full stop, and the person is failing at other treatments. Donor lungs are given. However, survival benefits has not been demonstrated in emphysema. Finally, there is rehabilitation programs aimed to educate people essentially about emphysema, as well as improving lung function through certain breathing exercises. Rehabilitation programs also provide emotional support amongst many other things. I hope you enjoyed this video on the treatments of emphysema. Thank you for watching.